Good afternoon, DeKalb, Illinois. This is Mike Greer with the Apartment 10 News. All the way to Nick Janikopoulos. There's some interesting stories before tonight's party. Uh, my prediction for Band the Hour, Joshua Becker. Uh, we're going to Becker passing out. The Christmas party, Hanover Park Christmas party two years ago, Becker did pass out in the garage and his pants caught on fire while he was sleeping. Uh, I'm going to go with that pick. I'm going to go with about 140. I'm going to go with 133. 133? 133. Exactly 133. Goes down. Okay. Our second story of the day is another story of the man of the hour, Josh Becker and his longtime lover, Laura Mitchell. They had a hookup about two or three months ago, and I'm predicting it's going to happen again. How do you feel about that, Mike? I do believe it's going to happen again. I do believe it's going to happen again. You hear it here first. Mitchell, Becker, hookup. <laughs> Anybody throw up? Uh, my easy prediction would be no, since this is our apartment and our fire, we don't want to throw up. But if they do throw up, I'm going to predict they'll throw up and make them ride a bathroom, because that bathroom's already a mess. I'm going to volunteer that you should go on Mike's bathroom because it smells like girls. Our next story of the day is probably the most uh, controversial person in our group of friends in the name of Ryan Siddick. The questions we've been asked are, what drama, who, and what time? I'm saying drama with Hirsch over beer pong at around 2 o'clock. That is a very great question because they do always seem to argue over beer pong and it's who plays best and that's packed up games for $20 a piece. But I'm actually going to go with the uh, rematch from the Christmas party with his girlfriend Jenny over beer pong. Possibly. We'll see happen. Next story, Becker getting laid. He hasn't been dating stripper for the last few months. They have been kind of on the rocks lately, arguing, not seeing each other a lot. Last time they saw each other was Valentine's Day. They had a couple of five days. Becker getting laid tonight. Uh, there's a pretty good uh, penis to vag ratio. So there's a chance he's going to get laid. Nick? Well, look at my next story had to do with the penis to, uh, to vag ratio. That's who will be sleeping in Mike's bed tonight. I'm going to say Kinga, because it's happened before and it could always happen again. No comment. Now, on to our facts of fiction over under stories. The Becker Mitchell hookup. Facts of fiction. Facts. Any reason? Just facts. Ah, oh, facts. It's happened before. You can see the love in the two eyes. That's a fact of fiction. I'm also facts. Facts. I can see the love in the hair. Becker versus Nick's key in any kind of argument fight. I'm saying a shoving match. I'm saying facts and a shoving match. I'm going to facts and verbal. Nick's key is going to try to get physical. Becker doesn't want to be a buzz to a party. So he's not going to let get physical, but he will argue back verbally. Over under. Rhino will go to bed by 2 a.m. I'm saying no doubt with Mary here, he's in bed by 1 30. I go with 1 30. Oh, definitely 100. All right, now for uh, Civic versus Jenny, fact or fiction argument. I'm saying fact. It happened last time over 10 games, or 11 games of beer pong, where he won 10 and 1. Yep. So I feel it's going to happen again. With a record like that, you get a fight with your girlfriend, it's bound to happen again. Yeah, people are always aiming for the top. No matter who's in the top, they're always going to come number one. I'm also going to fact because, like I said before, it happened. And like I said, in the city drama case, uh, I had to report. So I'm going to go with that. Now, for the cops. The cops show up at the party. Fact or fiction? I say fiction. I say we've been lucky so far. Knock on wood, they haven't been here in a while. I'm saying, the fi I'm saying fiction. I'm also going to fiction because it's going to be a party, a uh, fun party. Everyone knows each other. We all know who we invited, and uh, they know how to respect our apartment. So I think it'll be a wild party, but it's definitely under control when it comes to the case. This just in, we have a uh, breaking news from Facebook.com. We have 20 confirmed guests, 22 maybe, 19 decline, and 8 haven't replied yet. Fuck those eight people. Uh, let's go on to uh, over under. Hirsch scares two girls away from the party. I'm saying over. I'm saying Hirsch is the biggest creep of the group. He scares four. I'm going to go under Hirsch because I think you're going to creep out one girl. Probably for my super group of friends because there's a bunch of girls coming there and they're going to tell each other, spread the word, and they won't talk to you. Now, well, let's look at the process. Rules well, mixtape just came out. Great mixtape. We're going to sell two of them tonight, over or under. I say we go even. To be honest with you, I say we sell an even two. It'll be a college party. Uh, money not necessarily is the, the, the number one thing flowing around here, but I say you get two people that listen to it and want to buy it. We're going to be playing songs from the mixtape throughout the party, so we'll get two people. Uh, I'm actually going to go with two as the even number also, because there's going to be drunk kids, we'll have good money, and also people that don't. Now for our picks to click. Who throws up first? I'm gonna go with Jenny. She's a girlfriend. She's been at my house before during beer pong games and whatnot. Uh, who passes out first? I'm gonna go with the uh, infamous Joshua Becker, the redhead everybody loves and loves to hate. 
Adam had a senior party on the girl's dick. The, uh, wing master with the, uh, black one. Now for my picks to click. The first person to throw up is definitely going to be Liv's career. I have a feeling she hasn't drank in a lot in a while, and there's going to be a lot of beer that she doesn't like to drink, but I guarantee we get her to drink it after a while. As soon as you bet you mix, you know what happens. I'm going to say Paz is out first. This is going to be a first time in the history of our news channel. I'm going to call a three-way tie between Becker, Ryan, and Mary. I'm predicting they all go to sleep at 1.33 a.m. Threesome? Nah, possibly. The red hair factor. That's true. Very true. And then my MVP is going to go to Mike Greer. Um, I'm saying Mike Greer takes the... Uh, Takes at least three girls in bed tonight. I can only hope. Oh, no, no. And uh, also, this should. Wait, we might. Okay, we might. This should still be. Might have two K? Uh, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say even. I'm gonna say we get an even two K. We have a good supply right now. I'm gonna say we get two K. I'm gonna predict. I'm gonna over uh, under with one K. But cases of beer off to make up for the second K. Thank you for tuning in to Cal. This is truly my career. Stay classy, Decal. Next year on Cowboys. Have a good night.